Hey everybody, Christian Apple here for another episode of Grave Time. Today we're at the Franklin Cemetery in the town of Franklin uh, in Sacramento County, California, USA. And uh, today we're here uh, at the Franklin Cemetery, which is a pioneer cemetery. And um, uh, you can see just from when I just scanned the camera across, um, there's there's grass as you can see there's there's grass on the ground um, there's a lot of old uh, pioneer tombstones and stuff around here and uh, the cemetery is very well kept up uh, in the area of Franklin here uh, it's basically a hole-in-the-wall town uh, not to put it down or anything uh, there's really not much here there's a skating ring um, behind me here is uh, Franklin Elementary uh, there's some housing there's some houses in the area here there's a lot more growth out more that way. Um, Franklin is part of, uh, well, Franklin Boulevard right here, this main strip of road right here. It can take you all the way out to, uh, uh, it, all the way, it ends all the way at the Broadway in Sacramento. Basically, dead ends right at Broadway, and um, which I think would possibly be 30th and Broadway. Um, but basically, dead ends right at the, uh, there's an exit off of Highway 99 to get off onto um, Broadway and it basically dead ends Franklin Boulevard dead ends at Broadway uh, near the Smart and Final uh, grocery store. Anywho, uh, we're here today to check out someone by the name of Alexander Hamilton Willard. Now Mr. Willard was part of the Lewis and Clark expedition. There's a lot of gnats flying around here, and uh, I'm, I'm here very late. Uh, as you can see, the sun is starting to go down. Um, most, uh, to be quite honest with you, the, the rules of cemeteries go, uh, uh, when the sun comes up, you can be in a cemetery, and when the sun starts to go down, it means you're not supposed to be in a cemetery. And I'm not necessarily supposed to be in here right now, but it's still light outside, it's not dark. Um, my intent to be here is to tell you about someone who's here. I'm not here to conjure up spirits. I'm not here to go ghost hunting. I'm not here to do anything crazy or wacky or disturb anyone resting here. Uh, as I don't really honestly believe that there's anything here that would harm me. Um, anyways, um, but I'm here to uh, check out right here behind me uh, the uh, grave of Alexander uh, Willard, uh, who, like I said, was part of the Lewis and Clark expedition. I have some notes, so let me go ahead and fill you in with what I got here. I'll just go ahead and zoom. Let's go ahead and, uh, so I get this whole thing on a stick. All right, bird, we hear you. Okay, we'll just uh, put it that way there. Here. And I'm going to go ahead and read my notes. Now, uh, just a little bit about the whole uh, Lewis and Clark expedition. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and read some notes that I took. And then if you want to know more information, you can always go on Wikipedia or go to your local library or look up on PBS's website. I'm pretty sure they got tons of documentaries on all that stuff. Anywho, uh, Thomas Jefferson, our third president, commissioned Lewis and Clark to take on the very first American expedition. The Corpse of Discovery expedition was the name of this expedition they were partaking in to travel through the Louis <laughs> I knew I was going to butcher that name the Louisiana Purchase try saying that three times unless you're from that state then uh, don't bother you got me beat <laughs> uh, which was newly acquired territory Lewis and Clark were to map out their journey they also documented plants animal life, geography, and traded with local Native American Indians. Their expedi expedition took place May of 1804 to September of 1806. There's a view of what is uh, Franklin Elementary, which is part of the cemetery here. Uh, 
Uh, and then here's, um, I can't really read that, but that's, I think, one of the sons of, uh, the, of uh, Will Willard. Uh, here's the grave of Willard and his wife, Eleanor. Um, but I'm not here to talk about either one of them. I'm actually here to talk about Alexander Hamilton Willard. And let's go ahead and check out his tombstone. As you see, someone has been polite enough to leave an American flag as he is a huge part of American history. And so let's try to check out his tombstone the best we can. Now, uh, it's, it's a great honor to, one, be um, in this cemetery, as it is a pioneer cemetery, and um, part of the whole pioneer uh, experience in California was uh, looking, for, looking for gold, basically. And, um, and uh, so many great things came out of California. I mean, we got the Pony Express. Um, part of the whole railroad system took place in, in California. Um, you know, there's so many great, interesting people in American history that are right here in the state of California, and that's why I do this this thing on YouTube, Grave Time, to to, sh to uh, show the interesting people who who have shaped California, either through comedy, through history, through um, geography, uh, so many different things. I mean, there's just too many things to the, for me to list. Um, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and. Uh, Tell you a little bit about um, Mr. Alexander Willard. Let's see here. Don't want the sun in the shot here. Note to self. <laughs> if you ever hear me say note to self, I just want to let you know I got that uh, line from Norm MacDonald in the movie uh, Dirty Works, where he had a tape recorder and would say note to self, and he would say something like, "I know one one episode or one of the clips of the movie was uh, note to self." get a uh, wart cream for giant wart on my ass <laughs> okay well hopefully I haven't ruined this episode yet by throwing in a little uh, little tidbit from the movie uh, Dirty Work <laughs> but let's go ahead and learn about Mr. Alexander uh, Willard uh, born August 24th 1778 and died March 6th 1865 Alexander joined the corpse of discovery on New Year's Day 1804. He was a blacksmith, gunsmith, and a hunter for the expedition. Um, later on in life, um, after the expedition and all that jazz, uh, he ended up marrying his wife who's buried next to him here. Uh, they got married on Valentine's Day 1807. Uh, her name is Alex. Excuse me. His name is Alexander. Her name <laughs> is Eleanor uh, McDonald, and end up becoming uh, Eleanor Willard. And uh, they ended up having twelve kids. And uh, I don't remember how many sons and daughters they had. I, I don't know all that stuff. Uh, like I said, you can go check out Wikipedia. You can check out um, findadeath.com. That's basically kind of where I'm gathering all my information, as well as uh, audio and websites and stuff. I'm. You know, I'm, I'm trying to do the best I can. I'm not, you know, I'm not associated with PBS or Discovery Channel or History Channel. I'm just some regular schmo who is weird and likes has this fascination with cemeteries and wants to document the people that are buried here in California for all those around the world to see. And uh, because maybe you can't come here, or maybe you don't want to, you just want to watch it from YouTube. <laughs> so, anyways. Um... So, basically, him and another guy by the name of George uh, were basically commissioned to meet up with Lewis and Clark, I guess, at the Pacific Ocean, and uh, wait up for them. And they had a bunch of uh, guns and ammo and stuff. What happened was they got tired of waiting for uh, the expedition team, and they ended up falling asleep. And um, while they were asleep, Native American Indians, I don't know what tribe, basically stuck on the beach, stole their uh, guns and ammo, and in the process of stealing, that's when the expedition came up and caught them in time, and the Indians basically gave up the stuff and left. Um, 
and uh, Alexander was basically punished for falling asleep. He was supposed to stay awake and be alert. And the military um, punishment uh, back in those days was death. Um, but uh, he redeemed himself some kind of way and he ended up getting a hundred lashes to the bare back for straight for four straight days of he, he fell asleep for four straight days I guess but anyways he got a hundred lashes on his back uh, very similar to the lashes that Jesus got uh, on his back except I don't remember Jesus getting a hundred lashes but he got lashes that's for sure um, but uh, that's what uh, that, that's what Mr. Williard's uh, punishment was for falling asleep and uh, basically losing, almost com coming in contact, basically losing the ammo and um, and uh, guns and whatnot. And uh, on the mission, uh, he got attacked by a white grizzly bear and. Um, uh, survived and three of the men part of the he gathered three men from the expedition <clears throat> excuse me to basically hunt down this uh, white grizzly bear and kill it and there's a somewhere in somewhere in wherever this took place there's a place called uh, grizzly bear you know white bear island excuse me it's called white bear island go ahead and google that and it's named after the location where that took place um, you got to think this guy's a badass I mean he got a hundred lashes on the back because of his punishment and um, you know that's that's a sad thing you know uh, but hey there's consequences for for the things we do and uh, but he redeemed himself fought off this bear uh, eventually got married to a sweetheart had 12 kids lived happily ever after and here he is buried in the Franklin Cemetery not too far away from where I live in Oak Grove, California, which is not too far away from Sacramento, California. Anyways, my battery is dying on my uh, uh, camera, and uh, it's getting dark, and I'm getting bit up by mosquitoes. Because uh, I got good blood. They're like vampires. Arr. So, anywho, uh, this is Christian Apple for another fun-filled episode of Grave Time. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please leave comments down below. Uh, tell your friends about this uh, YouTube channel that spread the word about grave time and about this big, tall, fat guy who likes to go to grave sites and tell you eulogies about the people that are buried there. Who am I talking about? I, I guess me. <laughs> so, anywho, thank you everyone and God bless you all and have a wonderful night.